a car was moving at 5 meter per second speed then the driver pressed the accelerator it created a 10 meter per second square acceleration when we try to find the distance covered by such an accelerating vehicle we use the formula s equal to ut plus half ft square here u the initial velocity is 5 meter per second square acceleration f is equal to 10 meter per second square so the polynomial becomes s equal to 5t plus half into 10t square that is equal to 5t plus 5t square if t is equal to 0 then s0 is equal to 5 into 0 plus 5 into 0 which is equal to 0 so s0 is equal to 0 now s minus 1 which is 5 into minus 1 plus 5 into minus 1 square which is minus 5 plus 5 is equal also equal to 0 so this polynomial has two zeros 0 and minus 1 polynomial with degree 1 has only one zero like fx equal to x plus 5 here f of minus 5 is equal to minus 5 plus 5 which is equal to 0 so there is only one zero of this linear polynomial say we need to find whether x plus 2 is a factor of x cube plus 2x square plus 3x plus 6 we have to do factorization here not exactly we just learned from factor theorem that we need to find the value of polynomial with zero of the divisor if that value turns out to be zero then the divisor is a perfect factor so the zero of the divisor x plus 2 is is minus 2 x plus 2 equal to minus 2 so x equal to minus 2 so we put minus 2 as the value in the polynomial x cube plus 2 x square plus 3 x plus 6 and see if we get 0 so we put minus 2 instead of x so p of minus 2 is equal to minus 2 whole cube plus 2 times minus 2 whole square plus 3 into minus 2 plus 6 opening the brackets we get minus 8 plus 8 minus 6 plus 6 which is equal to 0 so x plus 2 is a factor of x cube plus 2 x square plus 3x plus 6 so this way we can easily verify whether a polynomial is perfectly divisible by another polynomial or not now this process can be used for factorization too say we are given a polynomial fx equal to x cube minus 23x square plus 142x minus 120 it is a polynomial of degree 3 a cubic polynomial how to break it down into simple factors first we should find one simple factor using the factor theorem let's see is x plus 1 a factor minus 1 is the 0 of x plus 1 let us find the value of f of minus 1 which is equal to minus 1 whole cube minus 23 into minus 1 square plus 142 into minus 1 minus 120 which is equal to minus 167 so this is not equal to 0 so x plus 1 is not a factor of this polynomial is x minus 1 a factor 1 is the 0 of x minus 1 right x minus 1 equal to 0 so x equal to 1 so let us find f1 which is equal to 1 cube minus 23 1 square plus 142 into 1 minus 120 which is equal to 1 minus 23 plus 142 minus 120 and if we solve it we get 0 so indeed x minus 1 is a factor of this polynomial so we got one factor but this is a cubic polynomial it will be having three factors so let us find the other factors of this polynomial we break down x cube plus minus 23 x square plus 142 x minus 120 into several fragments in such a way that each fragment has x minus 1 as the factor because we know x minus 1 is definitely a factor of this polynomial how do we do that start from leftmost x cube 
what should be the coefficient of x square? We are given minus 23 x square. So if we write minus 23 x square as minus x square and minus 22 x square, which is same as minus 23 x square, then from x cube minus x square, we can take x minus 1 as the common. Right? It will become x square into x minus 1. Same way, now look at x. Can we write 142x as 22x plus 120x? Why 22x? Because we see 22x square on the, on the left side. So we can write 142x as 22x plus 120x. And what is remaining? Plus 120x and minus 120. So this simplifies it to x square into x minus 1 minus 22x into x minus 1 plus 120x minus 1. And taking x minus 1 as the common from every one of the term, we get x minus 1 into bracket x square minus 22x plus 120. So now these are the two factors of this cubic polynomial. We repeat the same process for the second factor which we just got, which is x square minus 22x plus 120, which is a quadratic polynomial. Remember the quadratic expression ax square plus bx plus c. We learned that we need to divide b such a way that it is a sum of two numbers whose product is equal to a into c, the product of extremes. So here ac is equal to 1 into 20 which is equal to 120 and b the middle thing is minus 22. So let us write minus 22 as minus 12 minus 10 because it is equal to product of extremes that is minus 12 into minus 10 is equal to 120. So this simplifies the expression to x square minus 12x minus 10x plus 120. Now we take x from the first two terms x minus 12 will be left and we take minus 10x from the last two terms again x minus 12 remains. So now this factor simplifies to product of two linear polynomials x minus 12 into x minus 10. So finally the cubic polynomial x cube minus 23 x square plus 142 x minus 120 can be written as first we found out x minus 1 into x square minus 22 x plus 120 and in the second step we further found two factors of the x square minus 22x plus 120 as x minus 12 into x minus 10. So we can finally write this cubic polynomial as x minus 1 into x minus 12 into x minus 10. So from factor theorem we found x minus 1 as the factor then used it to simplify the cubic polynomial and break it into two factors. Then we got a, a linear and a quadratic polynomial. Then we simplified the quadratic polynomial of degree 2 and bre break it into two factors. So finally we got it as product of three linear polynomial factors. Looks tricky but once you start practicing more problems you will get it. So keep practicing students. Bye bye.